Sure. No, thanks for having me. My name is Travis Leach. I'm a partner at DLA Piper uh, based in Phoenix, Arizona, and help to lead their emerging growth venture capital practice in private equity groups, a subset of, uh, of, of our growth and, and venture and private equity practices, family office work, which led, uh, led me to the event in New York where we first met. And uh, it's been an active area for us. I, I really enjoy family office work. It, they, they work like many VC and, and PE funds. And I think that we'll see a lot of activity in the next few years, which kind of put us together. So um, quick background on me, you know, again, on, on deal flow this year, I tell everybody the first question I get asked is, 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 you know, how does your, how does your deal flow look? It, it's surprisingly been as busy as ever. I, I would never have thought that sure. in March, but it's been a, a, been a good year. And I'm sure you've heard that from other folks. So 2021 will be an interesting year. So, but the, so looking back, what's the uh, the biggest mistake you made or uh, a decision that was that turned out really well for you in 2020? Yeah, going looking backwards. I think the uh, I, I think you know being uh, practical and careful about this year as a firm, um, we've we've closed down uh, worldwide. So we've taken a very careful approach to, to the virus and keeping people safe. But uh, as a firm, uh, we made the difficult decision to do that. weren't wasn't sure how that was going to impact our ability to to work through things. But it's been worked out very well. In fact, from a expense standpoint, without having operating offices and everyone's remote, it's it's been a, a helpful thing for us this year. Uh, me personally, I think. Uh, I don't know that it's been a mistake, but just cautious in March about what types of work we'll see come through and, and continuing like, like you do, Mark, to, to reach out to your, your network and your, uh, your clients and friends and, and uh, staying in touch, not knowing where you know, 2020 will go. But it's been, again, it's, it's, it's been a good year. Um, interested to see how 2021 goes. So on that note, uh, we, for investors, and in, you can wear that hat, does, we ask you to choose wait, an asset class, an industry, a country that you think you know, may su- surprise on the, on the uh, upside or downside and, and, and why? That is a great question. Um, asset class, you know, for, for me, on the legal side, it's a little more difficult to kind of pick asset classes, but I'll tell you that growth work uh, among all industries has been uh, very steady. Uh, we've seen funds and investors be more careful about the investments they're doing, doing diligence on the impact of COVID and things like that. But as a, as a general asset class, in terms of riskier growth uh, types of investments, I would have thought that there'd be a little pause there, given what happened um, or what we're still going through. But, but there really hasn't. Um, we're, we're seeing a nice active push in the growth market, both from VCs uh, and, and family offices. Uh, we're continuing to see uh, the goal of diversification, you know, and, and this growth type product is, has been, uh, is, is continuing to be popular. And then switching gears on philanthropies or you know, social development goals, is there one that stands out for you that you're spending a lot of time on and, you, and we'll do in, next year? Um, you know, as a firm, I think we, we look towards, you know, sustainability, um, ESG. I think you're seeing um, that as kind of a buzzwords across all markets the last few years. I think that uh, candidly, I think everybody was catching their breath the last few months and trying to figure out where this market was going to go. So I haven't seen that as hot, but I, I, I think we'll pick right back up and continuing to focus on those areas uh you know, spring of, of 2021. And, and I've seen a, a huge, and you've probably seen it too, a huge outgrowth of funds looking at these areas. Um, and I think that that's been interesting and, and fun as a lawyer, where you're seeing clients really targeting investments that are not only return based, but have a little, uh, you know, social good component to it as well. And I, I think we'll get back there and it's only going to grow. It just may, may take a little bit of time. Yeah, that's that's an important area for us in 2021, and then uh, yeah, your your asks like how we I, I read your survey response, but you know how can we you know we've got 
funds and thought leaders and CEOs, um, how can we be helpful to you, either as a firm, as a firm, as a lawyer, or as Travis? Yeah, you know, I, I think it, very similar to how we met in New York. I, I think to me, it, it's meeting people, and you know, obviously, the more you and I talk, you may think of 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 things or people that that you'd like to introduce me to, and I'm always appreciative of that. And I think that that just goes on a broader scale when when I'm connecting with the members of the group. That's why I enjoy joining your conferences. You know, there are always there's a few familiar faces each time, which sometimes helps conversation. But then there's always new faces. So I think um, it, it's it's why we te- attend live events, and I think you can get just as much out of it from from these Zoom events and just meeting people, finding out what their goals are, and and hopefully there's ways we can we can meet and collaborate. We sh- and we should do that. I, I um, I've always enjoyed working with law firms and. I, I'm, I even had an office in DLA's office in Moscow. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, gotta, gotta get back to my DLA-ish roots. Um, well, we're so big, Mark. We're so big that I think it, it's nice to meet people because we've got so much. It, the reason I'm at a firm like DLA is there are a lot of tools to sell, and and it, you know the more people I can meet, and uh, you know we're likely to have a solution. We may not be the group they ultimately go with, but we've got folks that that are in the space. So it, 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 it's nice to, to meet those people because you can, you can get out and, and broaden the service offerings. True, true. And then one word that represents 2021, either hopeful or, or otherwise. My survey opportunity. I, I think that, uh, you know, that I put that down. I, it might be a little bit cliche, but I, you know, in talking with my clients, no one is scared about 2021. Everybody sees a very, um, opportunistic year. And, and it doesn't mean that companies may struggle. I think you may have a little of that. Uh, but I really think that you'll see some new technologies come out of this event um, for the good. And I think you'll see um, obviously some companies reorganizing and doing things differently. But I think there will be a lot of opportunity for investors in 2021. Great. Thank you.